Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Kol Halayim La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Barakah Kodash, which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Barakah Kodash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the only way you can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. And um, it's pretty much going to be a response lesson to uh, the elder Yashawamba down, down in Dallas, you know, and um, the vibration that the brothers uh, uh, been on, you know, uh, uh, early this morning, man, going into this guy, Chief Ephraim, you know, this this cat and what in, 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 in the statement he made concerning the RFID chip, you know, see these things, matter of fact. I don't, you know, need, need, need no ramble. I'm gonna just go right into it. This is um, this is a scripture Elder Wamba brought out, but shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into it and just recap on it. This is uh, Ezekiel the 13 chapter, and I'm gonna start at the first verse. It says, "And the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts." Hear ye the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So now just starting off that right there, man. Now, as we know, the Lord told us this. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter one. So I can. This is Ecclesiastes one and nine. It says, The thing that have been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. So just like during the time of Ezekiel, during the time of Jeremiah, during the time of the apostles, when they were walking the earth, there were false prophets amongst the people, man. Matter of fact, let's get that. This is, uh, I believe it's Peter. So like you bear with me. This is Second Peter 2 and 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction, man. So even like there were false teachers and false prophets back then, there are going to be false teachers and false prophets in, in, in this time that we're living in now, man. In Ezekiel, the 13th chapter, it started off and the Lord said, what? Prophesy against those prophets, man. First and foremost, who is the ones that's speaking against all these other guys, man? Who are the ones that's warning you against these other guys? While these other guys in fucking community caps, man, while they're, while, while they're joining hand in hand and they ain't got the same doctrine, who are the ones uh, uh, telling you and warning you to stay away from those guys, man? Who are the ones that's doing this? This is the book of Romans. This is the book of Romans, chapter 16. In verse 17, it says, Now I beseech you, brethren, Mock them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. Who is doing that, man? Who is prophesying again against the prophets who are prophesying falsely, man? Who are telling you that this guy is wrong and that guy is wrong and they ain't wrong? You see? It says, verse 18, for they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shai, but their own belly. And by good words and fair speeches, deceive the hearts of the simple, man. It says by good words and fair speeches, they deceive the heart of the simple. You see? It says that they serve not our Lord Yahweh Shah, but their own belly. So they're in it for whatever cause that they in it, man. Whatever it may be. Whether it be they sold out, whether they in, in, in cahoots with Esau, you know, whether it be uh, uh, they're in it for, for, for monetary gain whether they're in it for a uh, uh, popularity, whatever it may be, it's not to serve you. How are you? How are shine truth and sincerity? So therefore we ought to mock those guys, man, as the scripture says. So it started off with Ezekiel, the 13th chapter, and it says what? Prophesy against the prophets that prophesy in my name falsely. So we're going to speak against these guys. We're going to let it be known unto the congregation that these guys ain't sent from Yahweh Basham Yahusha. Why? Because they're not speaking the words of Yahweh Basham Yahusha. What did the Lord tell us? Through the mouth of Peter. This is uh, 1 Peter 3 and 11. It's like it. It's 1 Peter 4 and 11. It says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the Most High. If any man minister, 
Let him do it as of the ability which the Most High giveth, that the Most High in all things may be glorified through Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. You see? So, so, so we'll take that, uh, 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 for lack of a better word, we'll take that stigma. We'll take that, uh, 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 that, 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 that name of what, man? Y'all cause a division amongst Israel. That's what the Lord told us to do, man. You know, the Lord said what, man? He said he came to uh, uh, cause division. That's what we're doing. To do what, man? So you can serve. So let, 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 let's get this too. You know, it ain't no unity thing, man. As hey, the Lord said, uh, 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 um, let me get that too. Salakia. Yeah. You know, a lot of scriptures popping in my mind at, 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 at this moment. I'm going to just grab this real quick. There's a lot of guys out there thinking that it's for all Israel, man, that we're all coming together in our hell. No, man. The Lord came to bring division. He came to divide the wicked from the righteous, man. This is Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded, man. Isaiah the 10 chapter speaks about a remnant that the Lord is going to call. So we're not in this for all Israel. As it is written, all Israel is not of Israel, man. We ain't in this for the mass majority of these people, man. Just because you know you're Israelite don't mean a goddamn thing, man. You see? You have to serve the Most High in truth and the sincerity. An Israelite is one that is of the spirit, man. Here come vocab ass popping up. Oh, see, spiritual. No, nigga. No. First and foremost, you have to be a physical uh, 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 descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in order to be a, a, a spiritual Israelite. As it says in Romans 8 and 16, our spirit beareth witness with this spirit that we are the children, man. These curses fit us. You see, this was placed on Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This was placed on their seed. So we will be experiencing these things, man. In the book of Amos 2 and 11, it says what? Let's get that, man. You know, this is all through the spirit. I didn't have nothing really set up through the spirit. I watched Elder Wamba video, man, and, 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 and got hot. You know, and I was just watching the, uh, uh, the elder uh, Manata Zakba. He just uh, was in his car doing a lesson. You know, I was just watching, uh, you know, that brother. And, 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 and the spirit, you know, just, just was like, nigga, hop on it. You know what I'm saying? Put something on wax. This is Amos 2 and 11. It says, and I raised up of your sons for prophets and of your young men for Nazarites. Is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel, saith the Lord? So who are the ones out there on the highways and byways prophesying the downfall of this present evil world, man? Who are the ones telling you the things that's, uh, that's to come? Who are the ones that's prophesying of, uh, of the RFID chip? Who are the ones speaking about World War III? Who are the ones speaking about uh, 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 the famine, the race wars, the race riots, martial law? Who are the ones speaking about these things, man? So, so the, the proof is in putting that we are the children of Israel. Starting with the apostles and elders, a great millstone, man, we believe that we are the prophets coming back as it is written in the book of Second Edris, man. Let's get that too. This is Second Edris. You know, like I said, it, it, it's no set lesson, man. It's all, all, all through the spirit, you know. This is Second Edris 1 and 39. I'm going to start at 38. It says, and now, brother, behold what glory and see the people that cometh from the east unto whom I will give for leaders Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, uh, Obadiah, Amos, and Micaiah, Joel, uh, Salaki, that was uh, 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 Ozias, which is Hosea, Amos, and Micah, Joel, Abadias, which is Obadiah, and Jonas, Nahum, and Habakkuk, Zephaniah, which is Zephaniah, Haggai, which is Haggai. Zechariah, which is Zechariah, and Malachi, which is also called an angel of the Lord, man. So right here in this second edge is, 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 is letting you know that these the saved prophets that we read about are back here today. They're here today, and they're your leaders, man. They are the ones out on the highways and hedges. They are the ones uh, building that hedge. They are the ones that's, that's standing in the gap, as we're going to get back in Ezekiel, the 13th chapter. So now from there, what, what else am I holding? Read the Romans eleven, Peter, because we spoke about what this is. This 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 is not for everybody, man. But it left me so Lord willing, the Spirit to bring you back. So let's get back to Ezekiel the thirteen chapter. This is Ezekiel thirteen and one again. It says, "In the word of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy." 
and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord power, woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing, man. And have seen nothing. Why? Because you're not following the blueprint that Yahweh Basham Yahweh has delivered unto us, man. You see? The Lord warned Moses and he said, make sure that you build the tabernacle according to the pattern that you've seen in heaven. Same thing with King Solomon was building the temple. He built it according to what? To uh, uh, direct specifications, man. Same thing with the second temple that we read about in the book of Ezekiel, the latter chapters. When they read about the dimensions and the different uh, 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 cubits and the size, that was speaking about the second temple, which ought to be built, which was built what? During the time of Zerubbabel and Joshua. So they built it according to the pattern that Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah had uh, uh, given them. Same thing with this third temple that's being built, which is, which is a spiritual temple. According to the book of Peter, it says what? We are a spiritual house to offer up spiritual sacrifices. So how much more this spiritual temple need to be built according to or what? Direct, directly and correctly, man. Direct commandment, man, according to how we should build. That's why Paul wrote to the Corinthians and the uh, 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 first Corinthians, the third chapter. He wrote and said, look, let every man take heed how you build their own, man. So just back in Ezekiel 13 and four. It says, O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the deserts. Meaning what, man? They're slick. They're crafty, man. They're sneaky. You see? Ye have not gone into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah. The water Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah that he brought that back. Man, the water Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah. You know? And that's the Holy Spirit. Hokab Mahon. The Holy Spirit is the, the, the workings of, uh, 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 of the angels, man, in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, bringing us these scriptures to our minds, man, to edify accordingly to the uh, uh, what? To the doctrine, directly and correctly. That's what the Holy Spirit is, is the spirit of truth. To put this, the, uh, the, 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 this uh, uh, puzzle piece together properly, man. What I was going to bring out left my mind, and now the Spirit brought it back, man. That ain't of me. That's of the Holy Spirit. That's of the workings of the uh, of the heavens, man. So let's get this. Ezekiel, the 44th chapter. This is Ezekiel 44 and 23. It says, and they shall teach my people the difference between the holy and profane. And cause men to discern between the unclean and the clean. Now, when you read up in this, into this chapter, it's talking about the sons of Levi, which the sons of Levi were the priests. According to what? According to Revelation, the first chapter. This is uh, the book of Revelation, chapter one. And let's start at five. It says, and from Yahweh Shahamashiach, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and hath made us kings and priests unto the most high and his father and to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So through Yahweh Shai, we are made priests, man, after the order of Melchizedek. You understand? So when you read Ezekiel, the 44th chapter, the priest's job was to teach the people the difference between what's clean and what's unclean, man. Our job is to teach the people what's right and what's wrong, as it is uh, uh, written in Jeremiah, the 44th chapter, the fourth verse. The Lord said he sent his prophets to do what? To teach the people not to do the thing that's abominable in his sight. It's a scripture in 1 Corinthians. See if I can find that. Bear with me real quick. I'm not sure if it's first or second. But uh, it speaks about... Uh, how the Lord will accept us if we stay from the unclean thing. So I can bear with me, Baba Pasha. Yep. This is a uh, second Corinthians six. And let's start at 14. It says, be, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. 
If you're not believing in the thing that we're teaching as it is written in Acts, the second chapter, it says they continue steadfastly in the apostles doctrine. The Romans, what, 16 and 17 that we read, it says, mock them that cause divisions contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. So if they're not teaching what we're teaching, as it is written in Galatians, if any man preach any other gospel, let him be accursed. So if they're not preaching and teaching what we're teaching, right, you ought not to have fellowship with them. It says, be ye not equally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness, as it is written in Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony? If they speak not according to this word, it's because there is no light in them, meaning they're dark, man. Meaning they're in the darkness, so we should have no fellowship with them. It says, verse 15, And what concord hath Yahweh Shah with Belial? And what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of the Most High with idols? You see? It says that these guys serve not Yahweh Shah, but their own belly. Therefore, they're committing idolatry. They're committing spiritual adultery, man. And we ought not to have, uh, uh, partake with these niggas. It says, in what agreement have the temple of the Most High with idols? For ye are the temple of the living power. As the, Mo as the Most High have said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their power, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, holy, sanctified, quadash. It means separate. Hush. You know. See spirits hopping on the dogs and shit, man. Because what? Because what, what? 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 the spirit is bringing out is true, man. You are not to follow these cats, man. It says, "Wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate," saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing. The priests are telling you the difference between what's clean and what's unclean. It says, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and I will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty, man. And that's written. That's the oracles of the Heavenly Father. So let's go back. Uh, Ezekiel 44. In 23, and they shall teach my people the difference between the holy and profane and cause men to discern between the unclean and the clean. And in controversy, they shall stand in judgment and they shall judge it according to my judgments. And they shall keep my laws and my statutes and all my assemblies and they shall hollow my Sabbaths, man. That's what the priests are going to do. And that's what we're telling you. We're telling you that the, uh, the Sabbath is according to the new moon, man. We're telling you how to keep the Lord's Sabbath, how to hollow the Lord's Sabbath. We're teaching you how to discern between the unclean and the clean. We're teaching you these things, man, as it is written. This is the book of Amos, chapter 2. It's not 2. What am I looking for? Amos. It's Amos. I know that. I'm having a brain fart. Salakia. Malachi. The water of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shah. It's the book of Malachi. Malachi chapter 2. This Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. It says, For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. For he is the messenger of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shah, Lord of hosts, man. So the men out in the highways and byways, man, they're letting you know. They're teaching you. The ones that stand in the gaps. What does it mean to stand in the gaps? Let's go back. This is the book of Ezekiel 13 and 5. You have not gone into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. It says made up the hedge. The hedge is a, is a defense. As it is written in the book of Proverbs, it says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in, in, into it and it's safe. Now you got these cats, Priya, they, they, they say the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. So can that be applied to them? Hell no, it can't because they're not following after what? The reputation, the words of Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shah. They're perverting. It says prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy falsely in my name. So yeah, they're preaching the name of the Lord, but they're prophesying falsely. 
They're not speaking the words of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. They're speaking their own belly, even though they're saying the names of Yahweh Yahushai. They're not following after what? The reputation that the Lord left of his name, man. Because when you go into the Hebrew word Sham, it also goes into what? A reputation. It says a good name is better than precious ointment. So we have to follow after the rep uh, the representation, the reputation of the Lord's name. So from there, let's go to Ezekiel, the 22nd chapter. This is Ezekiel 22. Let's start at 23. It says, in the word of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah came unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto her, her being what? It's going to explain it. Thou art the land that is not cleansed, nor reigned upon in the day of indignation. It's speaking about what? The land of Israel. We're spirit is it's talking about us spiritually, man. It's talking about us as a whole, as a people. We have not been cleansed as a people. It says, verse 25, there is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst thereof. Like a roaring lion ravening the prey. That's why the Lord said what in John 10 chapter, man? He said, beware of wolves that are in sheep's clothing. These guys are wolves. And who are the ones that's warning you about that, man? Starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Who are the ones following the doctrine, man? Meaning what? Following the word. Precept upon precept. Precept upon precept. Here a little, there a little. As it is written, man. It says, there is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst thereof, like a roaring lion, ravening the prey. They have devoured souls. They have taken the treasure and precious things. They have made her many widows in the midst thereof. That's these, that's these, these, these fuck niggas, man. Yeah, I said it. I'm gonna just say it as it is, man. Your HOIs, your IUICs. Your Sakaris, so forth and so on, man. It says, verse 26, her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. Like what? Telling you to abstain. Look, look, look this guy said, Oh, we don't need to teach Israel not to take the chip. Nigga, do you know that there's, there's guys that claim to be in the faith? There's guys that claim to be Israel, and these niggas still getting lineups. These niggas still got bald heads. We don't need to teach Israel. No, it's, it's written in Leviticus not to make cutting. Niggas still getting lineups, dog. And these niggas walking around talking about Judah with a fucking lineup on their fucking head, man. Israel needs to hear these things. That's why the Lord uh, repeats himself over and over within the pages, man. See, a nigga like that, you don't trust a nigga like that, man. It says, Ezekiel 22 and 26, her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean and have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths and I am profaned among them. So a guy saying that, oh, we ain't got to teach about the trip and all that. You profaning the Lord, man, because the Lord clearly said what, man, that if you receive, if you worship the image, if you receive his mark, you're going to have your part in, in the lake that burns with fire, man. Our job is to warn the people according to what? Let's jump back a chapter. This is Ezekiel, the 21st chapter, and let's start at the eighth verse. Again, the word of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah came unto me saying, the Lord said, what I tell you in secret, that that's what you proclaim upon the housetops, man. So the things that's revealed unto us, we ought to go out and proclaim it. We ought to blow the trumpet as it is written in Isaiah, the 58 chapter, man. The Lord has made us watchmen unto the house of Israel. So therefore, we're going to give warning from him, from, from, from him. This verse nine, Ezekiel 21 and nine, son of man, prophesy and say, thus saith the Lord, say a sword, a sword is sharpened and is also furbished, man. That's those missiles. That's the lake that burns with fire. It's furbished, dog. They perfecting the fuck out of these uh, 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 out of these missiles, man. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? Are we going to party on the Passover? 
is the Israelite party, all that bullshit, man. Is we supposed to do all that? Hell no. The Lord said, return unto him with weeping, fasting, and with prayer, man. Psalm the 51st chapter, King David said, my sins is ever before me. A broken and a contrite spirit that I would not despise, man. Waking up to the fact that we is real, yeah, it's a glorious thing. The water Yahweh Basham Yahweh that he called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. The water Yahweh Basham Yahweh that he revealed uh, uh, unto us these, these, these promises, these exceeding and great promises as it is written in the book of Peter. But we got to understand that, 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 that we was at fault in that first covenant, man. That we fucked up. So it was our mind to go astray, now be returned, seek him ten times more, man. We should be greatly humbled to know that we Israel, to know that the Lord is having such great mercies upon us, man. So we should be in a state of weeping. It says it's better to go into the house of mourning than a, uh, 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 than a house of feasting, man. The hell is wrong with these people, you see? But it's ultimately because it is given unto us to know the mysteries, but unto them it is not given. So therefore we put out the warning for the hopeful elect, man. To those that have an ear to hear, let them hear. Everybody else, man, fuck you niggas, man. Yeah, I said it. It's back in Ezekiel 21 and 10. It says, it is sharpened to make a sure slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Shall we then make mirth? It contemneth the rod of my son as every tree, man. That word contemneth means despised. That sword is going to chop down all these niggas, man. Rod represents power. It says, it contemneth the rod of my son as every tree. What's an axe to the tree? You got an axe chopping down that tree. That tree ain't got no defense. It ain't got no power against that axe. Well, it's the same thing against this sword, man. To you niggas, they ain't got no hedge. That's why the prophet's job is to go out into the gaps. What's the gaps? We ought to fill the breaches, man. That's why in the book of Isaiah, the 58 chapter, this is Isaiah 58. This is the book of Isaiah 58. And um, let me start at uh, let me start at six. This is Isaiah fifty-eight and six. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? Now, what the Lord is going into is talking about this word, this faith, man. That's what it's going into. The fast that it's talking about is talking about this word. How we bridle our flesh, man. How we deny our our, our flesh. How we how we uh cut off our, our our members, man. As it is written in the book of Colossians. It says, is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens and to let the oppressed go free and that ye break every yoke? This is the fast. It's this word. The truth shall make you free. This is what's broken the yoke, man. Verse seven, is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house? And what is that saying, man? Deal thy bread to the hungry. It says, blessed are, 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 are those that uh, hunger, because ye shall be full. What is that? It's talking about the people that's, that's seeking for righteousness, man. The bread is this word, the bread of life that we're feeding, that we're giving out. In the book of Ecclesiastes, I'm going to butcher it, but it speaks about, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, oh, that thou was uh, 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 the brother, uh, uh, the son of my mother, that I will bring thee into the house, man. That's what we're doing, man. In the book of James, it says what, man? Hey, hey, you see your brother destitute of food and you tell him to be filled and, and go your way and not give him the things that's necessary. That's why it says this. This is the book of Lamentations. Let me jump to this real quick. This is the book of Lamentations. It's lock it. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 2 and verse 14. Thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee, and they have not discovered thy iniquity. Meaning what? That they're not out there telling you what's, what, 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 what you're doing. The Lord told us this. Why am I holding this? No, no, I'm through with that. I'm through with that. I'm through with that too. Okay, I ain't got to hold that no more. The Lord told us this, man. This is Isaiah 59 and 1. It says, behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your power 
and your sins have hid his face from you that he would not hear. So we ought to do what, man? Show Israel their transgressions. Salakia, brothers, I'm, 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 I'm holding this like a motherfucker. Let me run to the bathroom real quick. Sorry, Salakia, Salakia, but I had I had to go. I had to go. This is uh, back in Lamentations 2 and 14. It says, thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee, and they have not discovered thy iniquity to turn away thy captivity, but have seen for thee false burdens and causes for banishment, man. Why? Because the prophets ain't telling you the things. Matter of fact, the spirit had me mention it again. Let's grab it. This is Jeremiah 44. In verse four, it says, how be it I sent to you all my servants, the prophets rising early and sending them saying, oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate, man. So the prophet's job is to do what? Is to tell you not to do the thing that the Lord hates, man. As the brother uh, put this Isaiah 58 and one, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions in the house of Jacob their sins. That's discovering their uh, iniquity. So the Lord said our iniquities is what hid uh, uh, him from us, man. So we ought to teach our people the difference between the clean and unclean. Look, hey, hey, that's an abomination. You ought not to do that, man. That's what the Lord hates. This is how you should walk. This is how you should live. This is what you should do. And matter of fact, this is second address. Chapter seven. In verse 21, I'm going to start at 20. This is second Edward 7 and 20. For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of the Most High that is set before them. For the Most High hath given straight commandment to such as came, what they should do to live even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. And that's plain, man. So the Lord told you what you should do, how you should live in order to avoid punishment. You see? As prophets, as men of the Lord, as priests, we should do what? The brother posted the scripture. This is the book of Acts, chapter 20, verse 26. It says, wherefore I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the heavenly father. You see? As it is written in Ezekiel, the third chapter, in Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter. It says, give them warning from me. So we warned all you people, man. We're telling you not to follow these fuck niggas, man. The chief Ephraims in, in the Zabox, in the, uh, 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 the, the, uh, the Baraks, the Sakaris, the Alizars, uh, the bubble eye Blackfish, the, uh, the, the Rakhaz, you know, the Yohannas, the Tazariaks. All them guys, man, we're telling you not to follow those niggas, man. And yeah, 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 they're niggas until they repent, if they repent. We're telling you not to follow the Nates. We're telling you all these things, man. You do well to take heed because we have a more sure word of prophecy as it is written. So let's go back. Let's go back to, uh, where was I? Go back to Ezekiel 22. I think that's where I was at. Ezekiel 22 and verse 26. It says, her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean. 
and have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths, and I am profaned among them. It says her princess, the prince goes back into ch chief. Matter of fact, let's 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 look that up. Let's look that up. This is Ezekiel 22 and verse 27. Her princess, which uh, 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 the Hebrew word shar, which goes into pr prince, ruler, leader, chief, chief Ephraim, chieftain, official, captain, leader, right? Captain, commander, chief. So it's talking about what? The leaders, man. Her leaders in the midst thereof are like wolves ravening the prey to shed blood, and to destroy souls, to get dishonest gain. You see? That's what these guys are about, man. These guys are not watching for your souls. They're not telling you the things that you need to hear. See, that's what we do starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man. We're telling you the right, we're telling you the truth whether you like it or not, man. We don't give a damn if you get upset, you get emotional, we don't, we don't give a damn about none of that, man. We're going to tell you the truth. Why? Because we're free from the blood of all men, as that scripture said in the book of Acts, man. Simple, plain, straight, dry, cut to the point, you know? Shalom, brother. It says, her princes are like wolves ravening the prey to shed blood and to destroy souls to get dishonest gain. And her prophets have dogged them with untempered mortar. So this hedge that they're building, man, is weak, is fake. That wall is gonna fall when 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 tribulation comes, man. This guy really going on, oh, man. You know, we ain't gotta teach them to, to, to not take the trip. It's written in Leviticus. You should not put no cuttings. Niggas, you looking uh, around the, the, the world of Israel? You see these niggas with dreads? The scripture says not to have long hair. These niggas hair going down their back. The scripture says not to make baldness upon your head. Niggas head shining like a bitch. The scripture says not the mar corners of your head, nor the corners of your beard. These niggas got hella linings, dog. We ain't got to tell Israel these things. Nigga, you crazy as hell, man. Why you think the Lord repeated these things over and over again? Because he knew that Israel was a stiff-necked people, man. You don't trust a nigga like that, man. The Sirach says never trust thy enemy. These niggas are enemies, man. We're letting you niggas know. That you niggas is enemies, man. It says, verse 28, and her prophets have daubed them with untempered mortar, seeing vanity and divining lies unto them, saying, thus saith the Lord power, when the Lord hath not spoken. That's Jeremiah, uh, what's that, the 23rd chapter, man. These niggas out there talking about, yeah, yeah, about some y'all shot, break a thaw. Lord ain't sent these niggas. The Lord ain't put his name in their mouths, man. Matter of fact, let's get that. The book of Jeremiah 23. And let's start at one. It says, woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, saith the Lord. You know, and that's these guys, man. Hey, the Lord said, if you're not gathering with me, you're scattering abroad. So if you're teaching anything outside of what the apostles and elders of Great Millstone is teaching, that means your ass is scattering, man. You got niggas teaching that Cornelius is an Edomite. Niggas, you crazy? So salvation is for Esau, dog. Hebrews, the 12th chapter, it clearly says that there is no repentance for Esau, man, though he saw that carefully with tears. But this one lone Edomite can get salvation? You got niggas out there teaching Gentiles can be saved if, if they if they if they deny the works of their fathers and, and they that what niggas you crazy? The book of Obadiah says that the day of the Lord is upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto them. The book of Zephaniah 2 and 8. The Lord said, man, it, it, it is my determination to gather the nations to pour upon them my indignation, man. What about all these prophecies, dog? You see, these niggas are prophesying out of their own fucking heart, man. The Lord ain't told them this shit. It says... Verse two, therefore, thus saith the Lord power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. 
prophesy against the prophets that prophesy falsely, man. That's what we do. And guess what? Like the brother Sean Moore say, the rest of you nigga lights, man, the rest of you nigga lights, guess what y'all call us? Haters. Why y'all hating? Y'all hate. Hey, fuck all that, man. We gonna do the will of our father, man, as is written in the book of Joshua. Matter of fact, let's grab that too. This is the book of Joshua, chapter 24. 24, shit. Oh, no, that's Judges. The spirit, I think I was right in the spirit. Yep, uh, yep, yep. Man, you know. This is uh, Joshua 24 and 14. It says, now, therefore, fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and serve him in sincerity and in truth. And put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt. And serve ye Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So Joshua was letting the people know, look, forget about those, those goddamn idols you served in Egypt. Don't worry about those idols that uh, Abraham's father Terah served. You know? Don't worry about the idols of these nations, man. Put them, put them fucking idols away. Serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai in truth and in sincerity. You see? Because the scripture says what? That, uh, in, in, uh, let me grab that real quick. I gotta search it up. Covetness. I want to say it's Colossians. I'm, I'm gonna just go with the spirit telling me in my mind. Book of Colossians. Yep. This is Colossians 3 and 5. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. Fornication, uncleanness, uncleanness. The priests are telling you the difference between what's clean and unclean. It says uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry, man. So a lot of these guys serve their own belly, according to Romans, the 16th chapter that, that, that we read. A lot of these guys serve their own belly for what? For covetousness sake, man. Because they see that these, this guy has this, that guy has that, they got that. So they use this liberty that we have as a cloak of maliciousness, man, in order for them to do what? To uh, uh, to have 50 lucre, man. Now, where lucre goes back to something that's lucrative, whether it be you being looked at as the man in front of all these thousands and millions of people, whether it be you getting monetary gain, whatever the fuck it may be, man. Covetousness is as the sin of idolatry that goes back to idol worship. You serving your own belly goes back to idol worship, man. Anything outside of serving Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah in sincerity and in truth, man, rightly dividing the word, this word of truth directly and correctly, anything outside of that is idolatry, man, as it is written in 1 Samuel the 15th chapter. It says stubbornness. Go ahead, Doc. This is uh, 1 Samuel chapter 15 and verse 23. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. That's it, man. So we're telling you what the hey, this is what the Lord said. This is how you break down the scripture properly. The RFID chip is the mark of the beast. If you go, if, if you turn, if you harden your neck, that stubbornness is as the sin of idolatry. You're serving idols, nigga. It says, Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. That's it, man. So in Revelation, uh, the first chapter that we read, it said what? It said that through Yahweh Shada, he has made us king and priest. But because you rejecting it, the Lord has rejected you from being a king, man. You're not going to sit on the throne judging the 12 tribes of Israel. You're not going to sit at Yahweh Shah's table as is written in the book of Luke, man. Why? Because you denied the faith. You denied the Lord as it is written. We we, we read that in, 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 in uh, uh, the book of uh, Peter. It said that there was false prophets among the people. Even as there was false teachers among you, let's get that again. This is the book of uh, Second Peter two and one. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, even denying the Lord that bought them. So if you deny the men who the Lord sent, you're denying the Lord who 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 bought you with His own blood, man. And bring upon themselves swift destruction. Let's read the next verse. And many shall follow their pernicious ways. That's why these guys get thousands of views, man. Because the Lord is not for the many. The Lord is for the small. The Lord is for the remnant. 
as it is written in Isaiah the 10 chapter, man. That's that's what it's about. And who speaks about the remnant? Who speaks about the elect, that small number, more than the men of great millstone, man? It says, and many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Ah, oh, them haters, man. They, look at them guys. They, 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 they the worst thing of Israel. Hey, uh, they, we'll be that, man. We're in good company. Blessed are we when men shall separate us and speak all manner of evil for the for the name of Yahweh Shai, man. It says, woe is you when men shall speak well of you, man. For so did they fathers to the false prophets. We in, we, we, in, we in great company, man. As Apostle Rechah say, man, hey, we'll wear that with a badge of honor, man. Talk all your shit you want, man, because every idle word you're going to have to give account when the Lord returns, man. And we're going to see in that day. You, you, you own anything? No, no. It's back in Joshua 24 and 14. Now, therefore, fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and serve him in sincerity and in truth. And put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt. And serve ye Yahweh. And if it seem evil unto you to serve Yahweh, choose you this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, man. And that's what it's about, man. It says, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. As for me and my house, we're going to serve Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. We're going to do what's right in the eyes of the Lord to the best of our ability, as long as the Lord keep his spirit upon us, man. That's why we pray the Psalms in the 51st chapter. Cast me not out of thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Because through the Holy Spirit, do we know the things that's pleasing unto the Lord as it is written in Wisdom of Solomon. I believe it's, what's that? Uh, the ninth chapter. It says, thy counsel who have known, except thou give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above. And the ways of men were reformed and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee. Through what? Through wisdom. That's how we're saved. Wisdom bringeth to a kingdom, man. It's what? The Holy Spirit. This knowledge that we have. The spirit of truth. So let's go back. This is Jeremiah 23 and 3. It says, I will gather the remnant. Let's read that again. I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries, whither I have driven them. And I will bring them again to their folds and they shall be fruitful and increase. That's why you got men waking up in the name of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah all over the world. Giving what? Giving double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man. That's why you got men in Suriname. You got men in Guyana. You got men in Trinidad. You got men in London. You got men in Australia. You got men in uh, 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 Germany. You got men in Holland. You got men in the Philippines. Turkey. That's why you got men on the Apostles and Elders page, man. Uh, 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 saying Shalom from, from Arabia. Shalom from all these different places around the world, man. You see? You don't see that with these other cats. Our apostles didn't have to get on the plane and go to Africa. Like the purple people eater. He, they didn't have to do that, man. It says, verse four, and I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking. Say the Lord, man, we ain't lacking, man. The apostles and elders of great millstone, they feed us according to what? The knowledge of the Lord, man. We ain't lacking in nothing, man. They tell us about the herbs. They tell us about history. They tell us about looking up words, the meaning of words. They tell us about uh, 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 the prophecies, man, the past prophecies, everything, man, uh, uh, the totality of it. We ain't lacking in nothing. Paul spoke about what, man? Hey, hey, the things that accompany salvation, thus we speak. The apostles let us know all that, man. Everything that we need in order to receive salvation, they have made known unto us. We got it, man. We just got to late. We got to continue to hold on to it, man. And pray that the Lord cast us not away and pray that he give us the endurance, man, to endure until the end, man. Because this gospel that we have is the gospel of the heavens, man. We got to hold firm. That's all we got to do. Maintain the course, man. That's all we got to do. 
This is uh, Revelation chapter 2 and verse 25. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter. Shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. And what we got? We got this word. But that which ye have hold fast till I come. That's this word, man. That's this faith. That's this doctrine we have. We just got to hold firm into it, you know. Back in Jeremiah 23 and 5, it says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name whereby he shall be called. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Uh, over righteousness, the Lord over righteousness, man. And that's talking about what? Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, man. That root and offspring of David, man. The bright and morning star, as it is written in Revelation, the 22nd chapter. It says, therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that they shall no more say, the Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country. And from all countries whither I had driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. The north country is talking about here in North America, man. You see? This is building the hedge, man. Warning our people. Turning our people away from their iniquities. And letting them know the promises. Letting them know the things that they got in store. Building their faith. As it is written in the book of, uh, uh, what's that, Ephesians 4? It speaks about the, the, the body edifies itself in love. This is Ephesians. The fourth chapter. And I'm going to start at 11. It says, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Yahweh Shai, man. That's why they, yeah, I will give you pastors according to my heart. For what? For the edifying of the body of Yahweh Shah. That we may be presented spotless without, without spot and blameless, man. It says, to we all come in the unity of the faith. Oh, the word unity means oneness. Till we all come into the oneness of the faith. It ain't many faiths. It's one faith. It's one doctrine. It's one Lord. The same Ephesians, the fourth chapter, if we'd have started up, it would have explained it. It says, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the son of the most high unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Yahweh Shai, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. Exactly, man. Oh, the, the, the mark of the beast is, is sin. The mark of the beast is 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 all that bullshit you had these niggas say that the 666 is 666 men that rule the earth nigga what but nobody ain't got shit to say about these niggas when they come out with these this they, oh, this this madness man this nigga alizé uh alazar the nigga sakari this nigga said that we ain't supposed to worship y'all with shot Nobody had nothing to say about that. This nigga said angels was manufactured on the fucking planet. Nobody had nothing to say about that. Oh, but Great Millstone mentioned Deuteronomy in the 22nd chapter. It's all fucking emotions now, man. It says that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie and wait to deceive but speaking the truth in love may grow up unto him in all things which is the head even yahweh shai from whom the whole body fitly joined together meaning every part fits and works and it, and it runs like a well oiled machine man or just like a singing group that, that, that sings in harmony if you got one nigga that don't know the tune, 
He playing his instrument all off tune and nigga singing, uh, singing a whole note that ain't even written. Nigga, what? What is you doing? It says that we are fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love, man. So this body of Yahweh Shai edifies itself. That's why these that we put these lessons out, man. That's why at the end of the lessons we say, man, hey, hey, Lord willing, you are edified. Hopefully this lesson is edifying, man. That it may be building up to what? So we can meet that measure to Yahweh Shai, man, each one of us. Each one of us got a certain measure of faith. Each one of us got a certain measure that we have to meet. And that's why these lessons are important, man. That's why Apostle Sahar made that decree. May every man in Great Millstone, make sure you do your three videos a week, man. Make sure that we're all doing our part. It says that every part supplieth, man. Meaning we all got to be put, put, put forth our effort into this work. In that scripture, man, you hold something? This is uh, 1 John chapter 4 and verse 1, going back into uh, those guys that you had mentioned. It says, uh, Beloved, believe not every spirit. But try the spirits, whether they are of the most high, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. So that's right. We are to try the spirits, man. With what? The spirit of these scriptures. See if what they're saying is actually aligning with what this Bible says, man. All right. The Holy Scriptures. It says, uh, hereby know ye the spirit of the most high. Every spirit that confesseth that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is come and the flesh is of the most high. But just grabbing that first point, because the scripture says in the book of Proverbs, all right, Proverbs 14 and uh, 15, it says, the simple believeth every word. And that word simple, you look it up, it says, uh, easily persuaded and open-minded, man. All right, so we have to really gather this knowledge so we can discern between what's wicked and what's righteous. All right, a lot of these people that are taken over by uh, um, these false prophets, they haven't actually read the scriptures and studied them to see clearly like, oh, well, he's going off here or he's going off there. All right, that doesn't line up with the scriptures. It says, the simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. You know, just to back up what you were saying earlier, though. Uh, I'm going to jump down in Jer uh, Jeremiah 23. This is Jeremiah 23. And uh, I'm going to start at 14. It says, it says, I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem and horrible things. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers that none doeth return from his wickedness. They are all of them unto me as Sodom and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. That's what we read in Lamentations. These men ain't, ain't discovering Israel's uh, iniquities, man. But yet they teach things worthy of banishment like we read in Lamentations 2 and 14. Now I'm going to jump down, I'm, I'm, you know. Matter of fact, I'm going to keep reading. 15. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of power, the Lord of hosts, concerning the prophets. Behold, I will feed them with wormwood and make them drink the water of gall. For from the prophets of Jerusalem is profane is going forth into all the land. And that's these guys, man. Let's jump down to verse. Uh... Damn. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm verse 16. You know, I'm trying to quicken and make it short. We had an hour mark already. It's verse 16. It says, Thus saith Yahweh Basham Yahushua, Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. They say, Steal unto them that despise me. The Lord has said, Ye shall have peace. And, that, and, that, and that, it's these niggas, man. Constantly dealing with these unconscious ass niggas, man. Constantly debating some nigga and, and all these niggas. All oh, these niggas, my brothers. And, yeah, inviting them to the Passover and all that madness, man. These niggas despise you. How about Shami Yahushua? But yet you still telling these niggas they cool? It says, Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. They say still unto them that despise me, the Lord has said, ye shall have peace. And they say unto everyone that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. This is what they said. 
They're speaking smooth things, man. See, we're not ashamed of the Most High and His law as it is written in the book of Sirach, man. It says, be, be not ashamed to inform the unwise, man, or the extremely aged. It says, be not ashamed of the Most High and His law or the covenant, man. We're going to tell you these things straight up, man, whether you like it or not. We don't give a damn about your feelings, man. Oh, brother, you too. Hey, fuck that, man. Nigga, repent or die, nigga. That's the message, man. It says, for who have stood in the counsel of the Lord and who have perceived and heard his word? Who have mocked his word and heard it? Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord is going forth in fury. Even a grievous whirlwind, it shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked, man. Now let's jump down. It says, verse 26, how long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart, which think to cause my people to forget my name, meaning what? The Lord's reputation. The Lord killed everybody on this planet and left eight people alive, man. The Lord rained fire and brimstone on five cities and only delivered three people. The Lord brought all this evil upon the house that is called upon his name. Do you understand the power that we're dealing with? And yet a nigga jump up and say, you could call the Lord whatever you want. You could call him yo play yogurt. Niggas, you crazy? In the book of Jeremiah, the 28th chapter, that, 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 that false prophet Hananiah said, oh, the Lord ain't going to do this. The Lord ain't going to do that. Hey, the Lord said you're going to die the same day because you taught rebellion, man. You understand the gravity of not teaching this, this, this truth directly and correctly? You understand that, man? And that goes for us brothers in the faith. That's why the scriptures tell us to study to show ourselves approved. That's why the apostles teach us and tell us, man, make sure you're fully persuaded in what you're speaking. Make sure you study. Make sure you know what you're saying, man. Don't be going out there winging it. <laughs> the Lord said and it. No. Every idle word, man. Just because hey, you affiliated with Great Millstone, just because you within Great Millstone, nigga, that don't mean your ass gonna be saved, nigga. That don't, that don't mean that, dog. You gotta work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. You gotta make sure that you right now, Ozzy, how about Shem Yahusha? You gotta make sure that you're speaking wholesome words, man. And when I say you, I'm speaking to me. <laughs> you know? It says, verse 27. Which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. The prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream. Yeah, man. That prophet that have a dream, nigga, hey, hey, tell your fucking dream. Tell your interpretation and watch your ass be destroyed. It says, and he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. So the brothers that got the word, let us speak the word faithfully. This nigga that got dreams, man, they, they, they selling that shit. Niggas making merchandise, man. Yahweh Shah went into the temple and whooped the ass, man, because they made our father's house a house of merchandise. You got niggas selling T-shirts, niggas selling all kind of wear, niggas they, 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 just doing all kind of bullshit, man. Us brothers that sincere, man, they, 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 this, these are examples of for us to watch and learn from, man. We ought not to be like these niggas, man. We should see these things in fear. In fear. We should be humbled and honored that, look, man, hey, hey, the Lord have got me on the right path. The Lord have given me the right teachers. The Lord has taught me the right doctrine, man. So let us walk in humbleness of mind and in fear in, in, in what we have, man. Because many shall await some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt, man. There's a lot of people on this planet that know that they're Israel. And guess what? They don't know the right way, man. Matter of fact, let's get this. This is uh, Second Edges 8 and 1. This is the book of Second Edges, chapter 8 and verse 1. And he answered me saying, the most I have made this world for many, but the world to come for few. We hoping to be at that few, man. It says, I will tell thee a similitude, Ezra, as when thou askest the earth, 
it shall say unto thee that it giveth much mold whereof earthen vessels are made. These niggas are mold, man. These niggas are earthen vessels, man. They pollute it. It says, but little dust that gold cometh of. Even so is the course of this present world, man. That's why we hope to be that gold, man. We hope to be that silver, that precious stones. Being put in that fire so we can shine more and more, man. Let's go back to Jeremiah 23 and 29. It says, is not my word like a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, saith Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai, that steal my word, every one from his neighbor, man. That steal my word from his neighbor, man. You got guys that have come listen to the apostles. They stand on the other side of the line, listen to the apostles, get the breakdowns, and then these niggas run off and, and go teach it like they like like they knew it the whole time, man. You got guys out there teaching about the chariots, teaching about the missiles, like you ain't learned that from the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. You ought to watch out for these guys, man. And I'm naming names, man. I'm naming names, man. Adam Abbott. Yeah, these guys teach about what? The, 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 the chariots. They teach about the missiles. But do they give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone? No, they don't. You see? They stood on the other side and learned from the apostles, man. And went and established their own thing. They're going to be counted as what? Still in that word from the neighbor, man. It's a very serious thing that the Lord has called us unto, man. That's why, hey, that's why we ought to do what's right in the eyes of the Lord, man. Each and every one of us. Not when the fucking camera rolling. Not when you're around the brothers. No, much more in my absence, man. What are you doing when, when, when there ain't no cameras around you, man? What are you doing when you're in the, in, 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 uh, uh, in the closure of your own home? When it's only you. Are you still praying to the Lord? Are you still fasting? Are you still reading? Are you still studying? Are you doing the, the, still doing the things necessary in order for you to grow in the faith and the truth and the word? Huh? Are you doing what's required of you in order for you to stand firm and boldly for the name of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, that you may be an example, that you may be a light unto the Israelite foreigners, unto the Gentiles? Are you doing that, man? That's what it comes down to, man, because there's a whole lot of fucking phony, fake, fuck-ass niggas that's claiming to be Israel, man. And I pray that I'm not one of them, man. I, I, I pray, I pray in the name of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah that I'm not one of them, man. This is Brother Ratazawanya in Chicago, 2 Peter 2 and 3. It says, and through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not in them in their damnation slumbereth not, man. Hey, real soon, we're going to be seeing great judgment happen to these whole ass niggas, man. Great judgment is going to start happening to these guys, man. And I mean, I mean, these niggas gonna get started putting to death in fucking in in, 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 in in fucking marvelous ways. We see the judgment happen to Comfy, you know, with with the tax invasion. We see the judgment happen into uh, Kanai of the IUIC. No, no, wait till these niggas start getting put to death, man. Wait till they family start dying when you're hearing about their sons and their daughters and their wives and their family suffering, man. That's what's about to start happening, man. This is Jude 1 and 12. It says, these are spots in your feast of charity. When they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Clouds they are without water. Yeah, man, feeding themselves without fear. We ought to be eating with fear, man. It says, who knows if the Lord will repent and leave an offering? Man, who knows if the Lord has forgiven us, man? That's why Apostle Cabal, walk, he says what, man? Walk on eggshells. We ought to be as a deer in headlights, man. You ever seen a deer in headlights, man? And every sound that deer is looking like, oh, shit. Making sure what, man, that, that, that it don't get caught out there. It's the same thing with us, man. It says clouds, they are without water. You don't want to be a fucking puffed up ass cloud with no water, man. It says carry the bot of winds, trees who fruit withereth, 
without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots, man. Hey, we want to be that tree that Yahweh Shah is able to come to and eat. You don't want to be that, that, that fig tree that he cursed, man, because you wasn't producing fruit. That's why this thing that we have entered in, man, that the Lord has called us unto, man, is a, a serious-minded men. That's what we ought to be. Serious-minded men. Be serious in your craft that the Lord has called you unto, man. The Lord has called us unto be what? He has called us to profess his name. The word profess means to call. To say, evangelist, street preachers, vocation. When you look at the word vocation in the English, it goes into uh, your occupation, meaning your job, your career. All these words go back to this, uh, 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 to, to this, to this, to this work that we're performing. The word vocation goes back to a calling, vocal. We have been called to do this work. We're professionals. What are we professing? The names of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shah. That word career goes back into a, a, a pretty much a circuit. It goes back to a car and a car on a circuit, man. Paul said to run this race. We're in this race, man. It's a circuit that we're running, man. All these words go back to what? What we ought to be doing. And that's professing the names of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, and truth and sincerity. You own some, bro? Okay. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 3 and verse, I'll start at verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy paths. All right, so what? That's these false leaders, all right, causing our people to go off, man. All right, as uh, uh, it says later on in that Jeremiah the 23rd chapter, it talks about how these false prophets won't profit our people in these days to come, man, because they haven't built them up upon that rock, all right? So when these winds blow, our people are going to uh, uh, get destroyed. They don't have the wisdom and knowledge to keep them stable. Just like the parable goes into the uh, the five wise virgins and the five foolish virgins, man. All right. It says, uh, verse uh, 13, the Lord Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, uh, standeth up to plead and, to, and standeth to judge the people. The Lord will enter into judgment with the ancients of his people and the princes thereof, right? All these leaders. It says, for ye have eaten up the vineyard, the spoil of the poor is in your houses. Yeah. Now you got it. No, because I was going to say in the book of Peter, it says what? That the Lord shall start with the house of Israel. Go ahead. Up. Yeah, this is uh, 1 Peter chapter 4, and verse 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. Yep. And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? Now, that lines up with Ezekiel 9. Now, Ezekiel 9 and 4, a lot of brothers, we we, we, we always quote it. It says, uh, put a mark on the, on the foreheads of the men that sign that cry for all the abominations is done in the midst thereof. And then it said what? Through the rest, go through and pity not. But guess where the Lord says start? Start with the ancients of the people, man. Matter of fact, let's get that, brother. Bible, Kusha. This is uh, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9. Let me start at 4. Bible, Kusha. Come on. This is Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4. It says, And the Lord Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And how that mark is set, man, through us preaching. It ain't like we going through stamping on the foreheads. <laughs> uh, no, man. All we got to do is teach his word. The Lord is sealing, man, according to Revelation, the seventh chapter. The angels are doing that. The Holy Spirit is putting the seal, man. Matter of fact, matter of fact, this is the book of Ephesians. This is Ephesians 1 and verse 13. It says, in whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, man. That's what we're sealed with, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. You got it up. It says, <clears throat> verse five, and to the others, he said in mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite, let not your eyes spare, Neither have ye pity. Mm -hmm. Slay utterly old and young. So, uh, so the Lord don't care how old you is. He don't give a damn how young you is. 
If your ass ain't hearkening to the word, your ass gonna be destroyed. My son, three year old, I, how he gonna hearken to the word? Well, your ass gonna get destroyed, and your son gonna get destroyed with your ass, man. Because the Lord said that you can save yourself and your household. So if you're not doing what's right, therefore you just fucked your household, nigga. Go ahead up. It says, can I back you up real quick? You got it. Uh, this is the book of uh, Sirach, um, chapter uh, 27 and 3. It says, unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, his house shall soon be overthrown. And that's it, plain and simple. But it says, uh, back in Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse uh, 6, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark and began at my sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. That's it, man. So the Lord gonna start with the princes. He gonna start with the ancient men. He gonna start with you fuck ass, false ass leaders, man. This is what he gonna start with, man. You got more in there? Uh, nah, that's it. Come on, let's go back to uh, Jeremiah 23 and uh, Verse 31, it says, Behold, I am against the prophets, saith Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh that use their tongues and say, He said. Behold, all right, right. You using your mouth and saying, He said, and saying the Lord said, No, the Lord have not said none of that shit, man. The Lord didn't say the mark of the beast was fucking sin, philosophy, embargo. The Lord didn't say none of that shit, man. The Lord said what? The Lord said that the, hey, 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 the mark of the beast. Is is matter of fact, let's get it. Let's get it. This revelation. This is uh, Revelation chapter 13 and verse uh 16. And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor. He said, start, start at 15. Con, revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image. It's lucky. Start at 14, brother. Con. It says in uh this is Revelation 13 and 14. It says, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth. By the means of those miracles. And what's the miracles? This is technology, man. You know? That's a part of his sword. That's a part of this devil's weapon. Go ahead. It says, And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, mm -hmm. saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. Right. Now, in verse 13, it spoke about what? How he caused fire to come down from heaven. That's this devil with his technology, which, which, which was what? A part of his sword, which is his blessing. He perfected what, man? Hey, he was able to drop bombs on people. He was, he was the first fucker to drop a bomb on, uh, on people, man. He perfected his sword. You look at his, his army, his military, how many uh, aircraft carriers he got, man. He's able to deploy his army to any part of the earth, man. That's great power that this devil has, man. And it said, what? They, they, they should make an image. The image is what, man? His philosophy, his way of life that he pushed on these people. Here it is. You got countries. In the country, you will have a monarch. You will have a king sitting on the throne. Like, for instance, let's go to China. You got a motherfucking king. You got the emperor. But yet you got a Chinese president. Nigga, what? You got all these different places that got kings, but they got prime ministers who handle the business. Like, like, like the, the queen, the queen of England. This bitch ain't running shit. You got a prime minister who sits in the fucking EU that, 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 that deals with the, the, the politics and the functioning of the other country. That's, that, that's the image, man. You got the Philippines and all these different uh, uh, countries that got actual kings. But yet they got presidents that's elected that's actually running the country. They say that the, the monarchy, the king, it's a part of the rule that he don't get involved with politics or whatever. They got systems and laws set up within these different countries. That's a part of the image. They're all drinking of the cup of the fury. They're all drinking of the wine of the fornication, man. It's called democracy, which that word democracy uh, demo goes to demon, Chrissy goes to rule. It's the rule of the demons, man. And that's what's been spread throughout this earth. That's how it deceived the uh, the nations, man. That's the image. 
The image of is this way of life. It's this lifestyle. You go to China, you got motherfucking KFCs, McDonald's. You see these goddamn gooks going going, uh, going to the, uh, their jobs. They ain't got their uh, 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 traditional garb and shit and bowing and doing all that shit. What the fuck they got on? Suit and ties, man. Because they're following after the image of what? Of Babylon, man. They had it over in uh, India. They had like some type of uh, gay parade, you know? Like that's them following the image of the beast. That's what he pushes, you know, forcing that down your throat. All right. And he's doing that throughout all the world, man. Forcing people to conform into his ways. One of them uh, uh, Hamite presidents, when oh, Obama, yeah. when o- o- Obama was a uh, president, the Hamite dude was like, "Look, <laughs> don't don't bring that homo shit here." And Obama was like, "Look, hey, if you ain't gonna legalize it in your country, you ain't gonna get no aid from America." Right. You know, that's a part of that image, man. Hey, hey the brother said, "Image of lies, man." Go ahead. Verse, uh, that's why in the book of Psalms, it says that uh, 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 when the Lord shall awake, he shall despise his image, man. The Lord awakens us, awakening to who we are. The Lord said, when I arise to shake the earth, the Lord said, when I will make inquisition, when I begin to visit the earth that I, that he made. That's us waking up to who we are. That's the truth being uh, uh, spread throughout the earth. That's Esau Edom being exposed, his skirt being lifted. And it said the Lord will hate his image. Now everybody is seeing this devil for who he is, his system for the for the fucking uh, pit, the hole, you know, for the disgusting goddamn uh, fucker that he is, man. The image is this devil's way of life. You got some guys that say the image is, is, is Serapis Christus, is Cesare. No, man. The image is how this is society is ran, man. Go ahead, up. Verse uh, 15, Revelation 13 and 15. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, uh-huh. that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as... Is it not speaking? Is it not going over the world? Is not these people getting in line with it? Now you not now you got uh, Ishmaelite bitches twerking on top of poles. Twerking, bro. Ishmael mad than a hoe. He like, man, what the fuck? Now they're going through uh, women's liberation. Yeah, they're going through that now. That's that's that image, man. It says, and cause, I'm reading from the top, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Shall be killed, man. Guess what? A hey, hey, Saddam, he didn't want to get in line with the image. They whacked his ass. Right. Where, where, where he was a part of it until he started getting balls and started, no, nah, nigga, no, nah, no, nah, nigga, you're doing too much. Gaddafi, what he was doing, man, he was trying to establish Libya with his own gold currency. You know, that wasn't according to what the, the elite's plan and according to what they was doing. They was like, hell no. Fuck that. You know? Hey, uh, Apostle Ramla put on the common board Revelation 17 and 2. It says, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication, man. So that's letting you know that this, this, this devil's image, his, his, his wine, his philosophy has been spread to all, all the world, man. You got it up. Uh, Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. And he calls it all both small and great, mm-hmm. rich and poor, uh-huh. Free and bond. It says he calls it. He calls it. This is this is mean. It's going to be forced. It's going to be mandatory. He calls it all, both small and great. No matter uh, how rich you are, how poor you are, you know. Go ahead. It says, and he calls it all, both small and great. So you could be Michael Jordan, or you could be the nigga on the corner. Rich and poor. Mm-hmm. Free and bond. You could be out in the street or you could be locked up in the joint. It don't even it don't matter, man. Everybody is going to have to take this in order to function within this devil society, man. In order to participate a part of that image, in order to continue to live and be a part of this goddamn place, you have to have this mark. The nigga say that's philosophy of sin. Your King Solomon had the mark of the beast. Niggas, you crazy? 
The Lord clearly said anybody receive this mark, you're going to have your part in the lake that burns with fire. Paul said that there is a crown laid up for me, man. So a nigga going to say Paul had the mark, but Paul said he got the victory. Go ahead, bro. It says, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Now, how many articles, how many videos have been put out? About uh, 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 what they call it, the neuro, the, uh, uh, the it's, it's a neuro something, neuro link or something like that, man. Speaks about what the uh, uh, the chip that they could put in your brain to uh, help people uh, uh, um, uh, move limbs that ain't there, mechanical limbs, you know, to have you connected with the internet, just the thought of your mind, all these things, man. These are, these 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 are things that they putting out, man. Go ahead, bro. It says verse 17. They call it transhumanism, man. That's why they have these different movies like uh, Transcendence, like Lucy. At the end of Lucy, this bitch came a supercomputer. <laughs> you download this bitch essence into a supercomputer, man. Same thing with Transcendence. He uploaded his, uh, uh, his spirit onto a, uh, onto a computer, man. In the uh, 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 the series, um, in the series, uh, uh, it's on Netflix. It was a series I tried to get y'all to watch. I'm mad as hell. I can't remember the name of it. They had sleeves. They called it sleeves. Oh, and they uh, they, uh, they uploaded their spirit into another body. They yeah. were jumping out of bodies and shit. I remember. It. Fuck. I'm mad as hell. I do not remember the name of it, man. Um. It's a it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a TV show on Netflix, but uh, dude, on there, he had a uh, 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 alter carbon, the water brother, the water. It's called alter carbon, and within that, dude was uploading his spirit onto a fucking supercomputer that was in outer space. So if anybody killed him, right. his spirit was uploaded to a, 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 a fucking computer where it was able to download back into another sleeve, another copy of his body, so that he can live forever, man. You know, this is this is uh, this is part of Second Thessalonians, the second chapter. This is Esau wanting to play God. This is him sitting in the seat as God, thinking he is God, man. This is this is this is this devil. Who else is doing this, man? Who else fit these prophecies? Who else is exposing these things and speaking these things? As a, this is Second Thessalonians two and nine. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, man. That's this devil, man. You got it up. Back in Revelation chapter 13 and uh, 16, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell. How can you buy and sell with philosophy? Oh, hold on, brother. Do you commit sin? Oh, yeah, I can't sell you, brother. You can't, you can't buy shit. You can't. <laughs> hey, what kind of bullshit is that? So you telling me I gotta go to the store and they're gonna ask me if I if I sin or not before I can buy something? Read that verse again. It says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that hath the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Exactly, man. And when you go into that word mark, the word mark goes back to Karakma. Karakma goes into uh, 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 the, the, the actual device, man. A thing inserted. Apostle Ramlov always goes into the breakdown, man. It goes into the, the, uh, the three layers uh, uh, that that Greek word goes into. The first word is Karakma, which is the actual mark, the thing that's inserted into you. That Karakma goes back into a Karax. The Karax goes back into a pail or a stake. That's the instrument they use to pierce your skin in order to implant the karakma, the mark of the beast, the RFID chip. And that goes back to the Greek word grapho, which means what? An etching, a thing that's carved in, which goes back into the information that's written within the karakma, man. It ain't, come, come on, man. Come, come on, man. But that's talking about sin, brother. A nigga just leave it blank like that's talking about sin. That's, that's philosophy, brother. And then skate on like he didn't say that shit. Oh, nigga, you need to explain that. What does that Greek word mean, man? You know? 
John seen that, man. He seen the motherfuckers lined up. He seen the people getting the fucking mark, man. He seen the people that didn't take it get beheaded, man. And you heard it first, man. Hey, 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 starting with the apostles of Great Millstone once again, man. You heard it first here at Great Millstone, man. We the ones that continually push this, continue letting you know that these things are coming upon the earth. Go ahead, off. Revelation chapter 13 and 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Or the number of his name. Go ahead. Here is wisdom. Let him that understand. Let him that hath understanding mm -hmm. count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. And that goes into his system. And his system is what, man? A, 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 what he got established all over the world. You know? Like the brother said, uh, etymology of six is to cut. That last six is a, a high size stigma. And that stigma goes back into uh, uh, something that's stuck in you, man. You know? Now, uh, 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 the guy's name that invented the, um, uh, uh, the UPC, the Universal Product Code. This is a part of Esau's system. Now, the Universal Product Code, the UPC, was uh, uh, pretty much invented by a guy named George Joseph Lahr. You can Google it. You can go into it, man. This guy, George Joseph Lahr, he uh, pretty much came up with the, uh, uh, the system of the UPC, the Universal Product Code. The Universal Product Code is pretty much this. It's this. It's this damn barcode right here. And it's on every fucking item that you purchase, man. And when you scan this, guess what? It has the information of when it was manufactured, when it was shipped into the store. It had uh, 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 the, 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 uh, the the fucking uh, 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 the parts that was put together, how old this part is, how old that part. It has all this information within that barcode. That's the same thing that's going to be written within that RFID chip, man. That's the system that Esau Edom is planning to uh, 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 make mandatory throughout the earth, man. There's no way around it. There's no way around it. So when they scan the RFID chip, guess what's going to have? It's, it's going to have your ID there. It's going to know where you live. It's going to have your medical records. It's going to have your bank statements. It's going to have all that within that, man. They're going to have your social security number. It's going to have your birth certificate. All that is going to be electronic. Just like how we see everything moving uh, to electronics today, man. When you clock in at your job, you got a fingerprint or, or, or a retina scan. It's all connected to what? The internet of things, man. And this is Esau Edom trying to play God. So, so if guys ain't warning you according, uh, according to what? The prophecy according to the scripture, man. It's because it ain't no light in them, man. And you ought to stay clear away from those guys, man. You know? You got anything else? Uh, Con, this is a uh, book of... Uh... Uh, Isaiah 62. This is Isaiah chapter. Uh, all right, this, yep, this is Isaiah chapter 56 and verse uh, 10. It says, His watchmen are blind, they are all ignorant, they are all dumb dogs, they cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Because the purpose of a dog is supposed to warn you, right? Warn you of intruders and so on and so forth. But these prophets, they don't do so. Man. It says, yes, they are greedy dogs, which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, every one for his gain from his quarter. That's the amount. Con. Con. Well, it's all I have through the spirit, man. You know, just... uh. Starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man. We're the ones that's building the hedge, man. You know, building that hedge, standing in the gap, according to Amos, the ninth chapter, man, uh, uh, building the breaches. Matter of fact, damn. Oh, hello, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Shai. This back to Isaiah 58. This back in Isaiah 58 in verse 7. 
It says, is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house when thou seest the naked that thou cover him and that thou hide not thyself from thy own flesh? So these guys are hiding themselves from their own people, man. These guys are seeing their people out there naked, but yet this nigga gonna say, well, I ain't gotta tell him he naked because he already, he knows he, know he naked. No, nigga, you gotta warn him, man. Let him know. I ain't gonna tell Israel not to take the chip because it's written in Leviticus not to put cuttings. They already know that. No, nigga. How many Israelites you know, like I said earlier, how many Israelites you know with bald fucking heads, man? How many times you gotta tell Israel not to bald their head? How many times you gotta tell them not to mar the corners of their beard, man? They need to be told these things over and over again. It says, verse 8, then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh shall be thy reward. Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. So when we perform these things, man, this is how we get near unto the Lord. The Lord said, Draw near unto me, I will draw near unto you. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture. It says, Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke and the putting forth of the finger and speaking vanity, meaning what? We got to speak wholesome words. If thou draw out thy soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, that's what we're doing, man. Drawing out our soul to the hungry and satisfy the, afflic the afflicted soul. Isaiah, the 61st chapter, says what? That the spirit of the Lord is upon me, man. Us. To preach glad tidings unto the meek. Right? It says... Then shall thy light rise in obscurity, and thy darkness be as the noonday. And Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh shall guide thee continually, and satisfy thy soul and drop, and make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water whose waters fail not. Meaning what? This word is constantly in us, man. Constantly being brought forth, man. You know, it says, verse 12, this is the point. And they that shall be of thee, shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restore of paths to dwell in, man. The repair of the breach. What breach, man? We're rebuilding the breaches of the tabernacle of David according to Amos 9. So we're standing in the gaps. We're building that hedge, man. Just like how a wall, a wall that's broken down, here it is. It's a gap in the wall here. It's a breach in the wall there. We ought to stand in it, man. We are those bricks, right? So we ought to stand in it. Meaning what? We ought to strengthen that wall. We ought to strengthen that hedge. That is our job. To those that hearken unto the word, our job is to strengthen and quicken those in the spirit, man. Bahasham Rechakwaras, in the name of the Holy Spirit, man. You know? But hey, that's all I got as well, man. So, Lord willing, we hope this lesson was edifying, man. The water to all you brothers for tuning in. Shalom to all you brothers, man. Hey, shalom to the apostles. Shalom to all you elders, you brothers that's on the uh, common board that supplied uh, supplied us with uh, uh, scriptures, man, and, and, and with your words of wisdom. Uh, call Allah and La. Yahweh Bahasham. Yahweh Shai. Bahasham Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity who's rightly dividing the word of truth directly and correctly, man. Shalom to you, brother. Stay strong.